After starting your application, you see the main menu. Tap on the new measurement button. Now you have to enter a meaningful project title. By this name, you will easily find the measurement later on from your list of recorded files. In our example, we just type demo. Push next to continue. Now you have to select a scan mode. Please read the user's manual to learn about the differences between all available scan modes. In our example, we are using the accurate active scan, which is the most rigorous scan mode. Push next to continue. This time you have to select a scan profile. Again, in the user's manual, you will find more detailed information regarding all these options. In our example, we select Complete measurement to scan a rectangular area. Push next to continue. Here you have to select a start depth as well as an end depth. This tells the GeoSeeker in which depth it should start and in which depth it should stop the measurement. In our example, we will measure from 5 meters to 15 meters. Push next to continue. In the last step, you have to enter information about the dimensions of the scan area. So you must enter a resolution, which is the distance between two single scanning points, as well as the length and the width of your scan field. These kind of information are very important to define the total number of scan passes during the measurement.